Okay, we're recording. I wanted to get a quick video of uh, what we have here and how it was set up. Um, this is something that I came up with when we were considering getting a puppy. I wanted to have a pen attached to a crate indoors and I wanted the pen to be anchored to the floor. A lot of people were complaining on the reviews with these pens that the dogs jump up on them and you know they, if they're just sitting there, they'll fall right over or they'll get out of place or some were even hurting dogs because they were pinching pinching the dogs or whatever. In, uh, so what I did was to attach this to the floor indoors. On the floor in two areas is a pegboard. That go, I think it's like two foot by four foot on this side and another pegboard on this side. And the pegboard is, I used that so that I would have holes and through the holes I put um, zip ties here and here and here and here like two on each um, face that is over a pegboard. And so that basically really anchored this down well. So I'm gonna show you how, that's, how that looks. Now the problem with a pegboard just being a pegboard would be that it's just sharp edges from the pegboard. So underneath these drop cloths, um, I put a rug. So I'm gonna show you all this stuff. First off, the drop cloth idea was because we were concerned that a puppy would, you know, pee or poo, and we kind of wanted to protect our floor. And if they did do it, if they did pee, it's not easy to dismantle all this and clean up the, the carpet. So the idea was, ooh, the dog, <laughs> was uh, underneath this, um, let me get to it. First, we I put down, I wanted to have a, a thick, heavy-duty plastic drop cloth to protect the floor from pee, and but it gets kind of slippery, so on top of it is a, um, a canvas one. <laughs> All right, and uh, to protect, or to handle the problem of there being this pegboard with you know, sharp edges that we might stub our toe on, I have this kind of an old rug. You can use a carpet remnant. I use this old rug. So I put it on top and that smooths the edge. And you got this that protects it from pee and this is the, the walking surface. So for a good, you know, we had this up for a good uh, seven months. We brought her home when she was eight weeks old. And um, this, was, this just allowed us to have a secure place to put her that we were sure that she wouldn't be able to knock down. And I'll show you what I did with the zip ties. Let me show you one. Now, right here, I've, I've snipped all these now. I'm about to dismantle this thing. Here's one, you can see. So you do a zip tie. Focus. You do a zip tie, you kind of push it through the floor. So you push the zip tie, you might have to cut it a little bit with a pen knife. You, you cut through the uh, canvas, and you go over this piece, and it goes under, and under, and see this punch through the plastic easily. And then you punch through the rug. And then when you get to the, when you get to the pegboard, it just goes in one hole, oh, there it goes, in one hole and out another. So you do that in strategic places all the way down the pegboard, and you get a nice little setup here. So that's what I did. You can do that for yourself if you ever need to do this. And uh, I guess that's it. Anchoring a pen indoors. You can use these outside, they come with stakes, but you can't very well stake it down inside. That's how we did it.